హాయ్ వ్యూర్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్ తెలుగు ఛానల్ ఇవాళ మనం డిస్కస్ చేసిన టాపిక్ క్లోరోప్లాస్ట్ క్లోరోప్లాస్ట్ కంటీన్ త్రీ మెంబ్రెయిన్స్ ఇన్న మెంబ్రెయిన్ అవుటర్ మెంబ్రెయిన్ అండ్ థర్డ్ మెంబర్ రీచ్ ఫోమ్ బై శాక్ లైక్ స్ట్రక్చర్ కాల్ ఎస్ థైలకాడ్ ఏ క్రూప్ ఆఫ్ థైలకాడ్ కాల్ గ్రానమ్ థర్డ్ లేయర్ ఇస్ కాల్ లెస్ శాక్ లైక్ స్ట్రక్చర్ కాల్ గ్రానమ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఫంక్షన్ ఆఫ్ గ్రానమ్ ఇట్ ట్రాక్ సోలార్ ఎనర్జీ the function of granum in the or grana in the chloroplast is to trap solar energy during photosynthesis the energy is getting the light is getting from this granum and it stores in the it stores to prepare the photosynthesis next stroma the fluid portion which is present in the chloroplast is called stroma the function of stroma is producing enzymes it contain enzymes to convert glucose to starch the enzymatic reactions or activity which is present by the stroma will convert the glucose into starch it will synthesize the glucose to and again in turn it convert to starch so in chlorophyll in chloroplast we have photosynthetic pigments in chloroplast we have photosynthetic pigment substance this photosynthetic pigment substance are used to produce glucose here in stroma the enzymatic activity the enzymes will convert the glucose to starch at the synthesis of glucose here photosynthetic pigments for example chlorophyll is one of the pigment so chlorophyll pigment will helpful for the synthesis of glucose in the photosynthesis reaction the function of grana is to trap solar energy the function of stroma is to convert the glucose to starch by the enzymatic activity and the photosynthetic different photosynthetic pigments are present in chloroplast so in chloroplast we have starch grains in which starch is stored and lipid globules in this chloroplast we have different substances like photosynthetic pigments one of the substance is chlorophyll chlorophyll is a main pigment which is responsible for photosynthesis one chlorophyll will contain one ion of magnesium chlorophyll contain one ion of magnesium this is equal to the hemoglobin in human beings the chlorophyll pigment is similar to the hemoglobin in the human beings so this chlorophyll is of two types chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b chlorophyll a will produce blue green color the pigment function is producing blue green color in chlorophyll b yellow green color is produced around 250 to 400 pigments are present in each thylakoid around 250 to 400 pigments are present in each thylakoid and helpful for photosynthesis the chlorophyll pigment which is present in the chloroplast will helpful for the photosynthesis reaction so in chloroplast different steps of reactions will takes place first one is conversion of light energy into chemical energy second one is splitting of water molecule
next third one is prediction of carbon dioxide into carbohydrates so following three steps will undergo in photosynthesis how 6co2 plus 12h2o gives rise to in the presence of light and chlorophyll it gives glucose plus oxygen plus water here the light energy is converting into chemical energy reaction chemical reaction splitting of water molecule the water molecule which is present is undergoing splitting and form the glucose oxygen and water the carbohydrate reaction of carbon dioxide into carbohydrates this carbon dioxide so sorry carbon dioxide undergo reduction to form glucose the conversion of light energy into chemical energy it will convert the light energy it utilizes the light and convert into chemical energy next splitting of water molecule the water molecule splits to form oxygen and water reduction of carbon dioxide into carbohydrates the carbon dioxide will undergo reduction and form glucose so based on this we have two types of reactions which will undergo in the presence of light and which will undergo in the absence of light they are light dependent reaction it is also called as photochemical reaction because why it is called as photochemical reaction because the photo means light the with the help of light the chemical reaction is going it is taking place so light depend it depend on light photo means light so it is called as photochemical reaction second one is light independent reaction it is called as dark reaction as it is not dependent on light it is not utilizing light so it is called as dark reaction so coming to next topic light dependent reaction i have already said light dependent reaction is also called as photochemical reaction this light independent reaction will undergo in three steps first it takes light energy and convert into photons these photons is stored in the form of energy the light we using by using light it takes the light and it, the in this energy is converted into photons this water molecule utilizes this energy and undergo splitting splitting of water molecule into hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion is called photolysis splitting of water molecule into hydrogen ion and hydronium ion are is hydroxyl ion is called photolysis photo means light lysis means splitting splitting of water molecule in the presence of light energy which was used by the photons gives proton uh, hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion this reaction was discovered by robert hill so this reaction is also called as hill's reaction
सो ये बाद में क्वेश्चन है मैं आज वॉट इज फोटोलाइसिस आदि में आज वॉट इज हिल्स रिएक्शन यू कैन एक्सप्लेन दिस स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ वाटर मॉलिक्यूल इन टू हाइड्रोजन आयन एंड हाइड्रोक्सल आयन इज कॉल्ड फोटोलाइसिस इट इज वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बाई रॉबर्ट सो इट इज रॉबर्ट हिल सो इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल एज हिल्स रिएक्शन सो वॉट अबाउट द इन प्रोडक्ट विच आर रिलीज एट द फोटोलाइसिस सो हाइड्रोजन आयन एंड हाइड्रोक्सियल आयन This hydroxyl ion will releases oxygen and water. So I have already said photosynthesis reaction. So in this, the carbon dioxide is reduced to give glucose. Here many enzymatic reactions occur in the stoma and gives starch. Next, this water molecule undergo photolysis and releases oxygen and water. This oxygen which is released is entered into release or released into atmosphere. and the remaining water which is released is again utilized by plant so the end products from hydroxyl ion by splitting of photolysis the oxygen is entered released into the atmosphere and water molecule which is present is re again reutilized by plant then what about hydrogen hydrogen ion this hydrogen ion was taken by nadp what is nadp nicotinamide adenosine dinucleotide phosphate so this hydrogen ion which is taken up by nadp here nadp nicotinamide adenosine new dinucleotide phosphate and this nadp will reduce to form nadph and adp adenosine diphosphate adenosine diphosphate will take one phosphate and give atp nicotinamide adenine diphosphate will get reduced into nicotinamide adenine di biphosphate and the phosphate which was released which used by nadp adp adenosine diphosphate will form into atp adenosine triphosphate these are the powers which are produced in the end of the light dependent reaction this nadph and atp are produced at the end of the light reaction are called as assimilatory powers these are utilized by the dark reaction of light independent reaction so coming to the next term one light independent reaction it was not depend on light it is also called as dark reaction because of not using light it is complete in we can't say as it's a dark reaction it is in the night and mean it means if it is it will not only takes place in dark at night time it can also takes place whenever it need it does not depend on light and undergo dark reaction it need not to uh, dependent on light whenever it need it undergo dark reaction it does not depend on only on night so the nadp h and atp which was released in light dependent reaction will 
used by carbon dioxide the NADPH and ATP by using the NADPH and the energy which is released by ATP was used by carbon dioxide and convert into glucose this glucose will undergo number of enzymatic reactions undergo number of enzymatic reactions and finally converted into starch one of the enzymatic uh, enzyme which was used to form starch is ribulose 1,5 bisphosphate Ribulose 1 5 bisphosphate is an enzyme which used to convert glucose to starch. Different enzymes are used to convert the glucose to starch. One of the enzymes is ribulose 1 5 bisphosphate. The NADPH and ATP will be taken up by carbon dioxide and get reduced to glucose. This glucose is produced starch in the presence of many enzymatic reactions. One of the example is ribulose 1 5 bisphosphate. In this way, the different steps are needed to produce the carbon dioxide to glucose in the photosynthesis reaction ee video ganaka meek nachthe ayithe like cheyandi share cheyandi marini videos kosam aa extreme telugu channel ni subscribe cheskondi marini notifications kosam bell icon ni click cheyandi emana doubts unte comment box lo comment cheyandi thank you